deep diving into these cases is like dancing with the devil. But when you dance with the devil, the devil doesn't change. He changes you. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. It's been a while. Been a long while. Hey, Melody, Deb, Marty Pipkin, Nurshikins, Zena, Patty Ponytail, Connie Fiden, Dalen, hello. Good to see y'all. So, yeah, the title Summer Wells Hunter Holds the Key. And I'm going to explain that because I'm sure a lot of you watching this have like come up with this on your own but just in case people haven't with the the new interviews that hunter's been doing with his dad uh some stuff has come up and it for me it linked a couple of things and it's kind of made my brain like hurt so we're gonna be uh talking about that i just want to give it a couple of minutes get some more people in here before I start going over everything I wanted to like obviously it would be nice to go to uh, Andrew Hilt's page and just play that interview but uh, he's deleted it or put it private or for members or whatever so we're going to be using uh, the lab's version where he was going over it. So shout out to the lab. Don't strike me. <laughs> and I'm also going to be doing another, what's well, my video, but it's where I was playing one of Chris McDonough's videos of his interview with Hunter. So Chris, please don't strike me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I played Chris's. He hasn't striked me. We, no, we just I don't, I'm not don't worried about talk it. Talk crap about them in the chat, and please do share their links as well to credit them. Thank you. Yeah, uh, but this video is. There are going to be some people who are pissed. So if you have the means to record this while I'm streaming, do it. If you want to restream it on your channel, do it. As soon as I'm done, like as soon as I hit end, I'm downloading it because it's going to get hit because people are not going to like what I'm saying for sure. And you know me, I don't go off on crazy like half cock theories, but there are some things that are, I'm like looking at everything and it's just like a, just this whole m mishmash of everybody's lying and like, you, you try to figure out, okay, who do I go off of? Who do I say, okay, if this is true, then this is true, then this is true, da 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 You can't really do that with anybody, but I'm going to do it from Hunter. And this is going to sound weird, and it's going to like be kind of all over the place. I'm going to try and keep it as... Like, without going too squirrely in my own mind, I'm going to try and keep it as straightforward as I can for you guys. But we're going to go over it, and then I'm going to, like, sum it up. And I'll explain to you what my thinking is. Hey, Miss Justice, JPL, Tammy Brinegar, Denalyn2, the legendary... I probably said that wrong. Exploited Innocence, hello. Mary Francis, hello. Mimi B. Margaret Allen. Leaky's Bike It. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Old buddy of mine. Grateful Seven. Uh, if I missed anybody, my apologies. Okay, so... <clears throat> First, I'm just going to give you like a little little background so uh chris mcdonough went and interviewed hunter at uh, his place there we all remember that and uh i'd actually did a video about this before but um when hunter was talking about well the first thing that we want to talk about that 
was uh, Hunter said he went through Candace's phone and found deleted text messages. So I'm going to show you what, uh, what was said there. And then I'm going to explain to you, and I'm going to show you on my phone exactly why that's incorrect. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm saying how he explains it is incorrect. All right, so this is going to be the first one we do, and it's going to be... Uh, I think it's this one. Also share audio, okay. So yeah, this is the, the where he's interviewing with Chris McDonough and he says he went through Candace's phone and found the deleted text. So okay, let's just uh, watch that to refresh your memories here. Anyways, beyond that, that the second day she came, she went to the car either to grab something or something, but I grabbed her phone because I want to see if she had anything to hide. Like you said, I'm street smart. I'm very observant. Yes, you are. Like, I would notice anything. Like, you wouldn't even have to tell me. I still notice the mic on you. Right. No, I respect that. It's just how I am. It's just, if you're going to leave something on the table, and I know that you probably got something to hide because the way you're acting yep. and the way you call me, of course, I'm going to look through your phone. Sure. So she goes through her car, goes on the other side. I act like I'm grabbing my phone because they're just about the same. Right. So you play it like... So I, she... so I put mine where hers was. Got it. And so I grab her phone. And see, I'm good with tech. I know where everything you can hide is. <laughs> And so I went through her uh, Google Photos. Google Photos, remember that. That's what you want to call it. Okay. The gallery. Part. Gallery. Okay. And so where you can delete things, they don't just delete, they go to your trash. I don't know if people know that or not, but they go to your trash. Okay. I know that because I mess around with tech every day. Right. And you and need so, to go into IT, bro. Mm -hmm. Right there. Go ahead. And so when I looked in there, I seen 13 messages between her and her drug, I'm going to say drug dealer because he is Andy. I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to name his name, but. Andy. Okay. So, the reason this is incorrect, I'll show you. So, my phone, if I go to my gallery, it's kind of hard to do backwards. Okay, down at the bottom there, I think. I can't see, it's too uh, too bright. Okay, so I'm down at the bottom and I'm gonna hit trash. That's, that's my trash folder. That's where I've deleted pictures and they do sit in there and they're emptied every, I think, 30 days. But if I was to delete a text message, it doesn't go to my gallery trash. Okay, I'm going to go to my messages, and same thing, I'm going to go to the trash, sorry you guys can't see that too well, the brightness of my phone is screwing it up. These are deleted texts, okay. So they don't go to the same place in your phone. He was correct that when you delete a picture or you delete a text, that it doesn't delete off your phone immediately. That part's correct. But where that deleted text went to, that part was incorrect. Now, I'm not saying he's lying. I'm saying he was incorrect. Okay, <clears throat> and he also said that it was Andy. And it's a pretty fair assumption that this Andy is Jody Suzex, Andrew Hilt. Or not Andrew Hilt, who's Jody Suzex? Bernard. Andrew Bernard, Andy Bernard. So, okay, not, and that's not 100% either that that's that Andy, but we're going to get more into that. 
So we've all known this for a while, most of us. You may not have heard that, but yeah. And the other thing, if you remember from that interview, and Hunter does reiterate this in the one that the lab uh, restreamed with uh, his father, that uh, Candace received a call from Don saying he had to chase someone off the property. Now, where I really perked up is when somebody in the chat asked Hunter if, it, if that person was the same person that called Candace, and he said, yeah. So that would mean that that person on the property was Andy. Now, I'm not saying that it actually was. This is just what has been said. But I'm going to... Oh, how do I delete that? Okay. I'm going to show you guys that. And we are going to go from there. And then that's really the two big things. But there's a couple more things that just seem odd with me and I'm going to explain to you guys my theory about that but okay so let's uh, get to that restream that the lab did I think if we're good right there for time hopefully you guys can hear it okay but all right Let's go here. Outside of that, homeboy. So, yeah, this is the lab is restreaming this interview before it actually got deleted or taken down. Uh, yeah. The, um, so you said he was at work, but he was also home at the time. Somebody got at the time. Dude got kicked off property that day. Yeah, he was at, at the house. They're talking about Don and Hunter said he was at the house. But I, that was that was like, like before they would drop me off. So that's like later in the day. So that was so that was after you got dropped off. No, that's why I was while getting while I was getting dropped off. Oh, oh, all right. So now that call apparently was while he was getting dropped off. It wasn't earlier when they were going through the drive-through. That just could have been the way that they were having this conversation. Hunter did seem kind of distracted at a few points during this. So I'm not going to really hang everything on that. But just to reiterate, Hunter said that Don called Candace and said he had to kick someone off the property. <laughs> Don's going to crap his pants, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don is going to lose it. Okay, we'll, Don, sk we'll skip their commentary. You should have stopped while he's ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Where's the lawyer? Where, where's your lawyer? Text your client again at this point, would you please? No more vaping, no more smoking cigarettes on camera. And stop oh, yeah. admitting to illegal things. Oh, John, D Don is hitting the bottle as we speak. He's and the pissed. phone will be ringing. He's Go pissed. Uh, he's pissed. Yeah, yeah Don's going to not feel like love this. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, I got it. Even the dad knows. Even his father knows. That was, yeah. that was you like, make this stuff up, man. This is seriously. Uh, one day this is going to be a movie, a book. I don't I know what people not. are going to do with it, but yeah. I've never seen anything like it. But go ahead. Have, please leave my sister, my older sister. She's not doing it. Uh, I, I can't give no uh, answer. I, I don't really do time. Like I, you could ask me what the time is, but I don't like pay attention. I don't do all that. All boys? I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm going to skip ahead just a little he bit. Goes here. by the Mayan calendar, not the Gregorian one. I mean, I don't. When you were what? No, I. How long did they stay inside a price list to go food shopping? Like an hour and 30 minutes. Didn't Candace say it was like 10 minutes? Hunter did say that he has an issue with uh, his conception of time. And I'd have to say that that's kind of in full effect here. Because 
I don't know about you, but I've never spent an hour and 30 minutes in a grocery store ever in my life. That is a long ass time. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Well, apparently it just added an hour and 30 minutes. So now we go back. That's two o'clock. When he was originally. Oh, oh, actually, what is it? How, I think it's like 10 minutes from their house. So it's actually, you know, 150. Oh, I. This is gold. The cops are going to love this. Yeah. Everybody's Absolutely. Gold. And loves and hunts, buddy. And Don and Candace aren't going to like it so much. Oh, thank you. That's right. No. So, um, no. So apparently, uh, in case you want to know, apparently you and I are apparently you and I are running an anti-Summer Wells campaign. Who? Me and you. What? We just got that. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know no. who was saying that, but no, there's only one person allowed up here right now, and that's him. Okay, there's something coming up right Sorry. here. I remember that. Outside of that, it ain't headed. Yeah. Hey, oh, you know, you said this is going on members only. The only members that are really going to need this is, is TBI. And by the way, I'm sure they've downloaded it and put it put it in their, uh, their file. Oh, I'm sure they did. Do you yeah. think she was essayed? What does that mean? Assaulted. No, hell no. So Hunter had a well, pretty no, because it come out that Hunter had a pretty visceral reaction to the concept of summer being essayed, which is good. Because we know that Hunter he did like summer or love her or you know. So for him to say that, I think we can well me personally, I think I can actually believe that. That he he honestly doesn't believe that summer was essayed. So I mean I guess a little bit of silver lining, but yeah. Donnie, that Donnie Wells uh, did that to his own sister, so that's why people are asking. Oh, don't bring that up. He's going to blame us for that one. Let's see what he says. He ignored it. What do you want? Good move. What do you think happened to her? Not you had time to stew on it. Hold on, my lawyer. Oh, hey. Not take your time. The good lawyer. Yeah, I don't Good think job, that's his bro. lawyer either. Don't answer that question. Lawyer, bro. He's telling me no. Uh, they want to know what your honest opinion is on what you think happened. I think that she wanted off, and like he said, some dude was walking on his property that he's never seen. So probably she got to by him or something. As he. So he's referring to the guy that was apparently on the property that Don had to kick off. Now there was a point where... Sorry y'all, I thought I had that. I'll just let it play and I'll see if I can find it. But there was a point where uh, Andrew asked Hunter if it was the same guy that was on the property that called Candace. And he said, uh, yeah. But I'll, I'll see if I can find where that is. In the meantime, I'll play this here. Looks at his phone. They, think that she they want to know what your honest opinion is on what you think happened. I think that she wanted off. And like he said, some dude was walking on this property that he's never seen. So probably she got sick by him or something. All right. That's what I think. Um, ever met Robin? No, let's, oh, stop. let's stop this for a second. So let's get this right. Don sees a guy up there, according to Hunter. That he's never seen ever on his property before. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Summer disappears. So Don's there. Yeah, and that's one of the things that's making my brain hurt. The concept of Don being there and kick someone off the property. And then if Summer goes missing, you know, two, three hours after that. 
why wouldn't Don have told law enforcement, I just kicked someone off my property. Maybe it was him. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. But anyway. It's done. I don't know. I mean, just right. I mean, if we, if we take his way of thinking of what happened, but according to him, he was dropped off at his house. So he really wouldn't know what happened. So this is speculation on his part of what could have happened. Correct. But either, but unfortunately he puts Don on the property when the daughter disappears with this strange guy somehow in the neighborhood. Which is a, a major problem for Don. Major problem for Don because now he doesn't have to run home from Johnson City after Candace calls and says, hey, Summer's missing. Let me put my tools away first, and then I'll be right there. <laughs> a liar in your opinion. Well, I got to say, if your opinion, yeah. your opinion don't matter to me, I don't give a fuck. Wait a minute. Well, I got to say, I'm a, li a liar in your opinion. <laughs> well, I got to say, if your opinion, yeah. your opinion don't matter to me, I don't give a fuck what you say. I've been called a liar on here before. Have you been called a liar before, Chris? I kidnapped Summer, according to Don. Me too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that came out with a liar. We called worse than a liar. Uh, Matter of fact, if I say you're, okay, you're I a think, liar, I, I, I don't think I know where that reacts. People want to know Sonics. if you remember what she was eating, what she ate that day. Oh, here's uh, something different, too. Sonic, so she had food. And Burger King. Yeah, but they get Burger So they went to. Burger King. Yeah, Burger King. That's new. That was never mentioned before. They went to Sonic for slushies and Burger King for fries. I don't understand that at all, but that's what Hunter just said. So I think it was around here when someone asked Hunter in the chat if the guy on the property that got kicked off was the same guy that call, uh, texted it's done to Candace, which we know Hunter never actually saw because the way he described he found the text isn't correct. Don's gonna crap his pants, dude. Don is gonna lose it. Don will be calling anytime soon. I'm sure you. Oh, he was home him. about. Yeah. You know. that time. So yeah, let's get this right. They're in the drive-through getting the prescription. Don calls Candace. Right. Hey, there's you know. Where are you? I just kicked somebody off the property. Oh, no, this is when I was getting dropped off. Don was there at 3.30. Okay. Right. And he just kicked off the guy. So that means, did you see him kick the guy off the property? I mean, that would have been my question if I was interviewing Hunter. Well, okay, well, explain this. Did you see the guy getting kicked off the property? How do you know this? Well, no, it was the phone call. Okay, well, did you hear the comment? Hey, maybe... See how this doesn't make any sense? Doesn't make any sense. On he, he should have stopped vaping. <laughs> to he to Jason's comment, he should have stopped with his head. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Where's the lawyer? Where? Where's your lawyer? <laughs> Text your client again at this point, would you please? No more vaping. No more smoking cigarettes on camera. And stop oh, yeah. admitting to illegal things. Oh, John. D Don is hitting the bottle as we speak, <laughs> and pissed. the phone will be ringing. He's pissed. Uh, he's pissed. He's pissed. I don't think it's Don texting Hunter. Film at 11. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> Even the dad knows. Even his father knows. That was, yeah. that was you can't like, make this stuff up, man. This is seriously. Uh, One day this is going to be a movie, a book. I don't I know what people not. are going to do with it, but yeah. I've never seen anything like it. But go ahead. Please leave my sister, my older sister. She's not doing it. Uh, I, I can't give you no uh, answer. I, I don't really do time. Like I, you could ask me what the time is, but I don't like pay attention. I don't do all that. All boys, I'm guessing. He goes by the Mayan calendar, not the Gregorian one. I mean, I don't think they would just take one kid and not the other. So he's responding to a question uh, about... Uh, why somebody would only kidnap one child and, and 
not the other ones. I mean, it's a fair point, but I mean, that's a great mm. point. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that's such a great point because a kidnapper, unless it's a group of people, you're not going to be able to take more than one child. But you know, that is what it is. Yeah, it sure is. We've asked yeah. the same question, Hunter. That's a great point. And then to send your children down into the woods or the creek or whatever by themselves, like, hey, we think your sister got kidnapped. Head on yeah. down there alone. Yeah. Well, there's some psych. We haven't even called the police yet, but there's some crazy person down there. Yeah, yeah. make sure you guys get down there, check the creek, and look for a red truck. Take your pocket you knives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How long? Did take the they, dog trail. I didn't catch that dick dollar. Hold on. Shit, be nuts. Did uh did she eat that day that you know of? Yeah. When you were with no, her? This isn't the time that it happened. Me off. So that's like later in the day. So that was so that was after you got dropped off. No, know? that's why I was wild. Get wild. I was getting dropped off. It was around here. Somebody was around there and took her, which is a kidnapping. Yeah. No, I mean it's. Sorry, Again, guys. I thought I had the time written down right for that, but I don't. What? But I want to find it for you because situation. I want you to you the parents know I'm not making it up. Putting her into the basement. Then children just. I'm just going to run and grab share real quick. Children don't vanish. Honey? They don't vanish. Okay. They're, they're, you, God always leaves a window or a door open somewhere and you find you know as investigators you find some clue that says you know okay this is a possibility and then you look for probabilities you know and etc but you don't again you know you you have to follow that cardinal rule of you know don't write the prescription unless you know what the diagnosis is and right now you know, we don't even know the total diagnosis. We know that part of the diagnosis here is a little girl just vanishes from a basement, according to the parents. Okay. But when you take it into surgery and you start cutting it open, you realize, hey, wait a minute. You know, they're saying it's a heart attack and it looks like an appendicitis. All right. So Cher's going to look for that. But basically, yeah, it was sounding like whoever was on the property that Don kicked off, Hunter said that that was the same person who texted Candace and said, it's done. So hopefully Cher can find it. It's on there somewhere. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to give you guys the link to the labs live. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and watch through that. There's, there's quite a bit of stuff on there, but anyways, so yeah, Hunter did say that, but he did kind of say it more or less in passing like it wasn't like yeah that was the guy for sure or anything it was like uh yeah so i don't know if he was distracted if he didn't fully understand the question i mean there's a lot of what ifs with this but um yeah it's uh you know what i'm talking about right yeah i remember the, the guy that apparently texted kind of said it's done was the yeah. same one that was on the property that's yeah i know what you're talking about yeah i remember listening with you yesterday yeah i thought i had the time written down right but i didn't i think i wrote the time because it was kind of tricky because we we're i was watching Do you want that? no okay i was watching the labs live right so i i was having to use the labs live timestamps but when we would pause we'd see andrew's live timestamps and i think that's what happened i think i got one of them backwards i can give you a wife kiss when you do that to me <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Okay. But anyways, we have, as you've seen earlier, the way Hunter described that he saw that text to begin with that said it's done was incorrect. So was Hunter just making shit up? Because that text, like that text that it's done, that would implicate Candace, right? But when Hunter was asked what he thought happened, he thought, well, maybe it was that dude that was on the property. He snatched her. He didn't say that Candace had something to do with it. Can I just say, because I don't think there was ever anyone on the property trying to snatch kids. And like Andy Bernard just texted me, why would I be on, like, because he can't be talking about him because that's his property anyway. Like, what? Yeah. And it was apparently someone that Don hadn't seen before. He obviously would have seen his neighbor before. So, yeah. I don't believe that someone was on the property. I don't believe Don ran anyone off the property a couple hours before Summer went missing. Do I think Hunter made that up? No, I don't. I think Hunter was given that information to share. And he was also given the information about the text to share because he didn't describe how he found it correctly. So, when you look at it that way, let's say that somebody told Hunter to tell Chris McDonough and to put it out publicly that Candace got a phone call from Don and Don said he had to run someone off the property so they could have like a suspect to point to, right? But for some reason that fell through because no one else had that, that story. So that was like a swing and a miss. And we, th we keep saying that, well, these people, they're too dumb to, to get away with, with something like this. Right. And I think that could be a perfect example of, yeah, they are <laughs> because they gave this kid something to say. And then for some reason, they forgot to push that narrative or somebody wasn't, somebody wasn't, uh, in the loop on it. And I think that that person was Don. I could be wrong. Don't take what I'm saying for gospel, but this is just my opinion. I think that that person was Don. I think Don wasn't told what was happening and he screwed things up by saying he was at work late because he actually was at work. And their story that they had to kick somebody off the property. They couldn't say it was Candace or grandma because they were in town. Although Grandis did end up saying that she wasn't there, I think. But anyway, we're getting back into the whole everybody's telling a different story thing. But I really think somebody gave that information to Hunter to say. Saying that Candace got a call from Don saying there was someone on the property. I don't think Candace said that to Hunter. I think somebody told Hunter to say that. I also think somebody told Hunter about the deleted text thing that's saying it's done. Because the way he described he found the text is not correct. It's almost correct. Almost but it's not. So, and if he had done that, if he had gone through her texts and checked her deleted texts, he would have said, I checked her deleted messages, not in her Google Photos, the gallery. He would not have said that, especially since he knows tech. So, I don't think Hunter was like making shit up. I think he was fed that information. And the, with everything that's been said, we've got someone texting Candace that it's done. Okay, that implicates Candace. 
You got Don apparently kicking someone off the property but not telling anybody about it when his daughter goes missing. That implicates Don. And Hunter had said that this person that texted was Kenneth's drug dealer, Andy. So it's implicating Don, Candace, and Andy. So who has beef with Don, Candace, and Andy B? I'm just spitballing, but my first thought when I was putting this together was Jody Sue. She didn't like Don and Candace. She hated that they moved there. She said that freely. Obviously, Andy's her ex. She doesn't like him either. And Cher just told me that when Summer w disappeared, uh, Jody said, good, I hope they move now. I don't know if Jody's son's name is Andy Shorty. But there was also good luck finding it. But Jody Sue was talking about searching for Summer and walking through the creek and stuff all weird. And that was before Candace even told her she was missing. So, and who, who could come on that property without the dogs freaking out? Someone who's known by the dogs? Like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not being crazy here. I'm not like throwing out something that's just completely inconceivable. But this is like, it's, it hit me like a ton of bricks. So, but then there, then I have a whole bunch of other questions because there's a whole bunch of other weird players in this. So I want to know how well did Jody Sue know Tim Mullen? Because that dude's weird AF. Is Jody Sue at all connected with the SDA church or with Robin or with any of those people? But like just just the way it's going for me, like I can't picture Hunter just making something up. Like to just say, Oh yeah, uh Candace called or Don called Candace when I was there and she told me that Don had to run someone off the property. Like it just I can't I can't find a reason in my head why Hunter would make that up. Hunter would have had to have been told to say that. Or or Candace. Don calls Candace, and Candace is, she's already, this is hypothetical, all right, but she's already planning on doing away with Summer. So Don calls her and says, hey, where are you at? What you doing? Blah, blah, blah. He usually calls her every day, so it's no big deal. But she decides to tell Hunter that Don said he had to kick some guy off the property and that was going to be her alibi or her way of giving the police a suspect when she does something with Summer and they have to report it to the police. She could tell the police that, yeah, my husband just called me a couple hours ago, said he had to chase some whack job off the property. But at no point... Did the police mention this? Like in any of the uh, the police uh, their interviews or their statements did they ever say that they were looking for someone who had been milling around the property that Don had to kick off and Don had never said it. 
So I I don't understand what how that would have worked in Candace's head. Like it just doesn't add up. For me, the only thing it can be is somebody told Hunter to say these things. But who and why? And who, like, Hunter cared about Summer. Like, it might not have been, like, <clears throat> his favorite person on earth, but, like, he certainly didn't hate her. He certainly wouldn't want to see her, you know, unalived or whatever right so it had to, someone would have had to tell him to say this and they would have to have good reason and he'd have to trust them so who is that person who could that person possibly be that could go to hunter and say with all this summer well stuff i need you to say this and they have to be able to make him understand that it's for the best Now, for me, there's only one person, well, maybe a couple, but the other, the person who jumped out in my head was Allie. So, but now it's getting nuts. It could have been Candace, but Again, like if this was Candace's plan, you would think she would have got Dawn on board with it. Like if she was she was going to use Dawn, like say Dawn kicks someone off the property, you would think that she would have to get him on board. But that that whole narrative never played. So I don't think there was ever anybody on the property for Don to kick off, I think somebody told Hunter to say that. And with, with what Hunter has said, no matter which way you spin it, it's the truth, it's a lie, or he was fed it, it still points at the same three people. Andy, Don, and Candace. So for me, it's got to be who hates all three of those people. And y'all know Cher has done plenty of videos about the SGA Church and their different approach to adoption. You know, and it, it does happen where people... You know, they sell children to be raised with another family and, and things like that. Like, uh, well, like Cher just said, like Brendan. I didn't get a lot of information. Is it Brendan or Brandon? Uh, Brandon. 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 Cher is, uh, she actually just did a members live talking to this guy. Oh, my God. So... He and his girlfriend, whatever, they were having a baby. She didn't want the baby. And he was unable to be at the hospital when she gave birth. So she gave it up for adoption. And somehow, I guess, I don't know how it works. Like, I would have thought that uh, the hospital would be obligated to tell the father, but I guess they're not. She gave it up for adoption, but she told him, Brendan, that the baby was stillborn. And so he thought that their baby died at birth. He had no idea that this child was alive. And it wasn't for weeks after he, fig he figured it out. And this is where it gets oh, fucking stupid. Because he was not 
uh, supporting the baby after its birth, that legally means he gave up his paternal rights. He didn't know the child was alive. He wanted this baby. He didn't know the baby was alive. So how, how could he possibly uh, be supporting that baby? He thought it was dead. So yeah, now he is in absolute hell trying to get his, his baby back. And I, I believe it's been like two, three years now, still fighting. But anyways, don't want to get on to a, a big segue about that. This is about Hunter. Like, I'm going to open up the chat because, I mean, I might be way off here and I might have misread something and I might be like wrong, right? I mean, if I am, you guys are more than welcome to explain it to me or whatever if you have something you want to say about this you know all that kind of stuff there's the link you are welcome to pop up anybody anybody you can pop up but i mean like i haven't really been hardcore following the summer wells case for a while i've been kind of out of the loop i'll admit that but for me it's just been like it's always more of the same thing going over the same information the same interviews but 90 percent of it has been what's the train wreck that don and candace are in the middle of now it has nothing to do with summer so i just completely just went away from it because i'm like i don't need to watch don or candace falling apart i don't need to see their lives going to shit i got no interest in that but this to me, this is something new about Summer. I cannot get it out of my head that somebody gave Hunter this information to put out publicly. And somewhere along the line, somebody screwed up and Hunter was the only one that went with that narrative. Because Hunter did say he cared about her. He did say that he doesn't think that Hunter was S8. And he actually did say he doesn't think she was kidnapped either. But then he went back and thinks that that guy that was on the property did end up grabbing her. So he is kind of like scatterbraining all over the place. And he's a kid too. So a lot of that stuff I can kind of ex like explain it away or excuse it but not this not the fact that he said that candace told him that don chased someone off the property and no one else would back that up even candace never said it has anyone ever heard candace say yeah i told hunter yeah. there was someone on the property that don kicked off I never heard Candace say it either. So someone had to tell Hunter that. Because Hunter wouldn't make that up on his own. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I really am the voice of reason. Thank you, Dalen. I still got it. I haven't been doing this for quite a while. I'm rusty, but I still got it. Did Candace say that? Or he said he heard Don say it? No, he said Candace told him that. Because Don called her when they were all together in the car in the drive through getting the prescription. Now that's been agreed on with everybody. Don said he called her. Candace said she called him. All that. It's the content of that conversation. I have never heard Candace say that Don said there was someone on the property. Maybe she did somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. But, yeah, I can't think of a reason for the life of me why Hunter would make it up. Like, there's no reason at all. 
But I also know there was some really weird shit happening right around the time Summer went missing. There was all that Jose stuff. There was all the stuff with Hunter's dad coming from New York and they only stayed for like a day and then went back. And there was all these people there that stayed at Candace's house and all that mess. You remember that? Cher called it a flop house because that's pretty much what it was. And Don freaked out about it. But, yeah, like, all that shit going on. Now, I, I don't know what the hell happened, but... Oh, Anonymous Biker USA, happy 2024. Love you, dude. Another old buddy of mine. Jody Sue and Frank Light. Yeah. Jody Sue pops in, like, I cannot get Jody Sue out of my head now. I mean, Andy, Don, and Candace are the three people that Hunter's, Hunter's statements implicate. And who hates all three people? Me. Like, if it was just Don and Candace... I mean, they would make the, the list a lot bigger, right? But the three of them? The only one I can think is is Jody Sue. And the fact that she told that weird-ass story about how she was looking for Summer and walking in the creek so the dogs wouldn't track her scent. Like, and God, she's done so many lies... I wouldn't even know where to begin to find that, but it's on there. And, <laughs> yeah, like if that doesn't, if that doesn't tell law enforcement that they need to at least look at, at her a little bit closer, I mean, yeah, like th this is literally screwing with my head. It was like one of those epiphany moments where you're just sitting there and all of a sudden it's like someone smacked you with words. It's like, what the hell just happened? And all of a sudden everything lined right up. It was the craziest thing. Okay, here we got Ivy's mom. Hello. Hi, Mr. Mark. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm fine. I'm recovering from surgery three days oh. ago, but I'm highly medicated and I'm okay. <laughs> God bless medication. <laughs> hey, no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, there might be some people in your chat that recognize me. Can you hear me? I hear you. Yep. Okay. I'm hard of hearing. So forgive me if I asked you to repeat. Oh, sure. Um, I have been up on two, three other panels, and nobody wants to listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, kind of. But you all keep running around in circles to the point you got trenches around you. All right. <laughs> and True. The whales have done this constantly. Every time, every time somebody starts to get close to the truth, somebody else comes out, somebody else is thrown out there, pointed at, blamed, and everybody runs with it. Hi, Cher. Mm. Hi. <laughs> I did write to your lady. I don't oh, know yes. if she remembers me or not. And she said she wrote to you. Oh, she wrote me? Oh. I'll just have her share my earbud here. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Hi. Yeah, turn you up. I wish I had a bigger picture of you. Um. So what do, you, what do you think happened this summer then? This was planned. This mm. was planned. It was an arrangement that they had made to have Summer removed. Now, mm. 
we can sit here and speculate all day as to the reason why okay everybody kind of goes to the one side and rightfully so because of all the information coming out about them but mm. i also believe and though i got attacked for it i'm sorry but i still believe in that you learn you learn <laughs> at your parents hip. let me just say that Mm. Thank you. Okay. And you got growing boys on the hill and a little girl. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. And you're inviting up other little girls. Okay. You know how boys are. I have all boys. So. They're mm -hmm. devious little suckers when they're younger. They try to get away with anything they can, you know. Yeah. So. I, w I was a little boy once. Yep. <laughs> I love them. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but I know how they are. Um, yep. Let me see if I can turn this up a little bit. Okay. That's. Good. Um. I wrote to Cher after she came out with her uh, psychic stuff. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm sure once I start talking, she'll, it might ring a bell to her. I do not call myself a psychic. I don't like that title. Mm. I don't like it attached to me because the majority of them are phony. Okay? Yeah, they I agree. May yeah. Have one, they may have one insight and all of a sudden, you know, they can see yeah. and hear and, and, and everything. That's not true. Okay? Um, I've done this all my life. I don't advertise. The only reason I'm out here was because of what I experienced and I wanted to help. Mm -hmm. um, I stumbled on, I stumbled on Summer's story by accident. Years ago, I had gotten into the Nancy Grace stuff and I started following these kids stories and I would get things. Okay, back then I didn't have a home computer or anything. So I sat down and hand wrote a letter to law enforcement. Of course, they don't listen to you. Right. Um, and I've heard the complaint a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, so they didn't listen. They found one. They haven't found the other one yet. But I got so so disgusted with it that I, I decided I'm not doing this no more. I'm walking away from this. Mm. And I did. And I, and I accidentally uh, come across Summer, completely forgetting in my old age, you know. And I, this little pretty little girl just kept popping up on my screen. And I was like, by the third day, I was like, what is this, you know? So I clicked on it, and then I clicked on it the next day, and the next day, and then the light bulb went off, and I was like, you damn dummy, you just put yourself right back into this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I couldn't walk away from it. Mm. You know, and <laughs> I know this is going to spark a fire on the share. And then I come across this Reverend Donna. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. And um, I thought, who is this? I, I had never heard of her. Damn. Who, who, who is this? You know, so I clicked it and it was actually Enchanted Life Path had put out a 12 minute video of her. You don't mind me talking, do you? I'm no, lonely. No, I don't no. Nobody talk to. <laughs> no, okay. no. 
if, talking. if you do just say hey <laughs> shut up and i'll go away <laughs> um anyway enchanted life path had put this video out it was like a 12 minute video of her first reading on the summer wells case and i thought okay i'm gonna watch it. it's only 12 minutes i don't like these long drawn out things mm. so i watched it and i'm listening to this woman and I walked away. I was so upset <laughs> of what this woman said. I, I, I was just beside myself because mm. I know these things do happen. Okay. Unfortunately, they do. Very rare, but they do. And I just couldn't bring myself to put this pretty little blonde haired girl in this predicament. Mm. yeah she went into a lot of graphic detail about that yeah yes she did and that's what i'm getting at i don't give a damn what you know if you have the ability to know okay mm. or what you see how dare you put that out there like that you want to tell law enforcement then you tell law enforcement Okay, and they'll decide whether to give you any kind of credit for it. You don't plaster it on YouTube. She has family, for God's sakes. I don't mm -hmm. care what you think about the parents. Okay, yeah. she has brothers. You know, she has other family members that see this. I, I just, I just couldn't with her. Mm -hmm. And I did watch her. I did watch her a couple more times just to watch and i figured her out okay it's sad that she has so many people uh believing in her bullshit you know i'm a cousin do you no okay um but if you sit and you watch her, you can figure her out. Yeah. Okay. She, she'll come out and she'll say things like, if something happens and something new comes out. Oh, I knew that. I knew that uh, 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 five months ago. And I made a video about it, but I didn't put it out. I didn't want to put it out yet. So he let me put it out for you. And two or three days later, there's this video of her discussing this. Well, honey, I can do the same damn thing. You know? Mm. Oh, I said, I said that 10 months ago. Well, here, let me put the video out. for. Well, why didn't you put the video out 10 months ago? If you knew. Okay? But there's just little things. I'm not going to get into her. Anyway, mm. um, so I started praying after watching her video and getting so upset. I started praying for Summer and asking God to please show me where Summer was and to tell me where Summer was. Please. You know. Hmm. Now, I'm not an o over religious person. I do believe in God. I know there's a God. I've, hmm. seen, I've experienced too many things. Okay. So I know higher power, celestial being, whatever name you want to attach to it. At the end of the day, it's all the same. Okay. No matter what yeah. religion you follow. So I started praying and asking. And anyway, it was like the 6th of August of 2021 when I seen her video. And I started praying. By the 30th of August of 2021, I got my answer. 
I suffered from migraines, I took my head medicine, and I kicked back in my chair. And I wasn't asleep. Anybody that suffers from migraines knows you just don't go right to sleep. Mm. Okay, I could hear everybody talking and moving around. And I had just kicked back and closed my eyes. And all of a sudden, I found myself sitting in the back wow, seat of this car. You can really dance. Wow, you can really dance. All right. I'm trying to see. It's Keep going, Ivy. I'm listening. Oh, I, I, I thought she was talking. Whoops. I found myself sitting in a back seat of this car, and I'm looking, and I'm like, the hell? You know, trust me, every time something happens, it's a new experience, okay? Mm. And you walk away saying, wow, that was interesting, you know? But I found myself sitting in the back seat of this car, and, I'm, and, and I realized what was going on, and I was like, okay calm down, you know, relax, pay attention, take everything in that you can. It was a, it was a very nice car, not a cheap mm. car, not a junk car. It was a very nice car and it was black on black. Mm. And I looked down and I'm like, oh my God. I'm in Summer's body. Mm. I know how that sounds. Okay. But I think that was God's way of letting me know that Summer was alive because I usually see them to the side mm. and I know that they have passed on. So I'm like, I'm in Summer's body. I'm looking out through her eyes. I could feel everything she was feeling. I guess they call that remote viewing. I don't know. I don't study this crap. I just <laughs> do. Okay. <laughs> we weren't allowed to when I was growing up. You don't do this shit when you're growing up. And um, I could feel what she was feeling. She was very calm, very quiet confused and I could tell that she had been drugged and I mm. think that was to keep her I think that was to keep her quiet because she mm -hmm. wasn't really going along with the program so easily you know um, that actually is very in keeping with Summer's personality yeah exactly Summer turned her head to the left and I could just see over the door panel out the window. And there was a river of water that ran along that side of the road. Okay. Um, and I'm looking and the wood and, and the window was wet. But I, every now and then I kept thinking I was seeing something else and I was like, is it, is it rain? It just rain. Sleet. Sleet and rain. Mm. Okay. Well, Summer was dressed in warm clothes. Okay. She had long pants on, jacket. It was chilly out. I guess they're in the sleet and rain. And she turned her head to the right. And I wanted to say, hell, okay? Even though all this is going on, I'm still very conscious of my own thought process. Mm. And I wanted, I wanted to say, hell. And Summer said very loudly, mountain. And I was like, no, hill. You know, like Tennessee Hills mountain hmm. so i'm looking at this mountain and there's you know there's some rocks and stuff 
trees, a lot of pine trees. It was very green, very mm. green. And a lot of pine trees. Well, I've never been to Tennessee, so I ain't got a clue what the hell kind of trees they got. I guess they got some type of a pine tree here or there, you know, but but not like this. This was this was really congested with pine trees. And there was something on the ground and I couldn't figure out at first what it was. And I'm looking and I was like, oh my God, it's patches of snow. Hmm. This this can't be right. Summer's in Tennessee. It's August. So Summer looks to the front and she's not she's not right behind the driver. Yeah, that's different. Okay. She's not right behind it, sitting right directly behind the driver. She's and she's not right in the middle. Okay. But she was more scooted over to the middle and to where she could see between the seats. And I could see out the front window that we were on a small winding road. It was paved, wasn't dirt, no lines. Um, and it was winding. I saw an old cricket telephone pole, no houses or anything. Okay. Um, and Summer said, up, up, real strong, up. And I thought, okay, I'm thinking she's meaning north. I knew there were two people in the vehicle. I could only see a portion of the driver. Okay, I couldn't see the passenger. They seemed to be kind of petite, uh, small or crouched down in the chair because I couldn't even see the back of their head, you know, over the headrest. Mm. and. So the driver, she, she does one of these numbers to look at the driver. He's a white man with dark hair, very well kept, clean cut, no facial hair. He had on like a dress shirt and pants. I'm going to say he was like 45-ish. Mm. Um, about 190 pounds and 5'11", six foot tall. Okay. Summer started losing her fight to go back to sleep. When I, re when I seen the driver look in the rear view mirror and he alerted the passenger that Summer was awake. And I didn't get, I didn't hear the exact wording of the conversation, but it was kind of like he was telling her that Summer was awake. Uh, she asked what yes. she was doing. She asked what she was doing. Oh, she's just sitting there. Don't worry about it. She's fine. Kind of a thing. And when Summer closed her eyes, finally lost her fight, and she closed her eyes, I was told the word Norway. Hmm. Well, I come, I come up out of my chair, and I was like, Norway? This is crazy. This is, this is absolutely crazy, for even for me. You know? And I was like, just push it aside just leave it alone just leave it alone did you want to talk to somebody else hi, oh guys. yeah we could say hi to rosie 
Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. So, oh, go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. I just wanted to say hi. I didn't want to distract. So, Ivy, you think that summer's in Norway? Yes, I do. And I'll tell you why. Did, did she want to talk? Well, what are you thinking, Rosie? Well, okay, so I've been, you know, this thing, this case has totally perplexed me, right? I've been mm. throwing it over. I wake up thinking about it, go to bed thinking about it. But with the new stuff that just came out, I always wondered why um, Dawn was so nonchalant about what should happen to someone who did something to Summer. Oh, I don't know if they should go to prison, this and that. Mm. And now with the stuff Hunter says, I, I kind of wonder if he's afraid. Like, maybe he's afraid of A.B., Andy Bernard, you know? Oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't say the last name on here. But maybe he's afraid of him. So he, mm. they really know, but they're afraid to say what they know because, you know, maybe they fear for their lives. I don't know. He's supposed to be this horrible monster, right? I guess. I sure don't get that vibe from him, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's all so confusing. Oh, yeah, it is. But with the stuff that Hunter's been saying, it just makes me makes me wonder, you know? Yeah, it really makes me wonder, too. I go over all the stuff that's been said and all the things I've had questions about, you know, like, why would Don act like that? Why wouldn't you say, you know, and of course, we've always thought that he said it because it's one of them. Mm. He doesn't want one of them to get in trouble, right? But maybe it's someone who he fears. Maybe it's not Andy at all. Maybe it has nothing to do with him. But may it, maybe it's someone that he fears for his life for. Yeah, that could very well be. I honestly have no idea, but this Hunter thing, it just it just hit me like a slap in the face, so I figured I better go live and talk about it. Well, exactly. They all know. Go ahead. They very well could. Right, they all know, yeah. I think so, too, and that's what I'm saying, but it with... Truly, to, to tell you the truth, I, I think the Hunter's the hunter part of it, they never stop talking. Okay. If I got mad at somebody, supposedly it was because Candace threatened to blow her head off if mm. she came back up on the hill. I'm sorry, you're not taking my child anywhere. Yeah, you're I always thought that was stupid. Yeah. Right. You're not coming to my house. Okay, and <laughs> they've already shown they've already shown texts between Hunter and Candace that they had been talking. All right, before this even took place, and they're trying to hunt her side on there. Oh, we ain't talked or seen her for eight months. You're a damn liar. I think Hunter was taken. Not for an alibi, but we, well, he was there, you know, he's seen, he, he was there, but, but also for Hunter to be able to say goodbye to, to Summer. Hmm. Yeah, I and get that what you're he saying. Could verify, and that he could verify, oh yeah, Summer was there that day. I seen Summer. She was fine, you know. That kind of a thing. They're all right. in on it. Even so even Allie, God bless her soul. Even Allie's in on it. Mm -hmm. Allie's in on it. Hunter's in on it. Oh, Rosie. I still say Jody Hi, Sue Sarah. and Andy Bernard are in on it to help Monday the Waters. Frank Light was in on it. All of them. Okay, mm. they sit there. What's the what's the two things that they say all the time? Oh, 
we don't know nothing about them people or we can't stand them people i hate them i don't talk to them they all right. do it that's another that's a thing damn lie. Like, jody's always back and forth on were they friends were they not friends can't mm -hmm. coming to her for parenting advice <laughs> You know, this or that, but then she's like, oh, we didn't, I don't know what went right. on over there. When she knew everything that went on over there. She's right. always Jody been Sue. on my list, too. Now, I'm not saying Jody Sue was, uh, did anything to Summer. No, I don't believe that at all. But Jody Sue knows. Jody okay. Sue knew a lot more, and when she admits that she knew so much about kids being drugged, but yet she didn't That's right that ever. That is mm. just, you're just as disgusting to me as the people doing it. If exactly. You know it. Exactly. You know exactly. I don't, I don't think, I think she was too worried about trying to save her ass that she dug the fucking hole. That's just the way I see it. Okay. She's the mayor of Ben Hill. She knows everything, the ins and outs, the comings and the goings. Right. Mm. Her man, her man is a drug dealer. You see her personality, and you're going to tell me that she didn't sell drugs when Andy wasn't home? Right. Bullshit. She and played a big drug dealer. Yeah. I think you're on to something too about when you're saying that they all done. if this was the narrative, why didn't they ever tell the cops? If there really was somebody up there, that's why I'm saying maybe there was somebody, but it's somebody that they fear. Mm. You know, why maybe. wouldn't they immediately tell the cops that? And I don't think Hunter made that up right. either. I don't think he's making it up. No. He heard something to that effect. Now, if it got a little jumbled or a little spun or whatever, who knows? But he ain't making that up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely agree there. He did. He definitely didn't make it up. But I do wish. He really is an awesome and they've made him off the right after. But I do send my prayers and healing vibes to her for sure. Yeah, so someone that they're afraid of. Yeah, then they could they could definitely convince Hunter to say with so many mouths to feed the things he said. Right. You say this, you say this, you say this. And they're deliberately muddy in the waters they have from day one. And it's mm. to keep everybody confused. Okay. But if they wanted Hunter but, to say that, then I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. If they wanted yes, Hunter okay. to say that, then why would they not run with that as well? Well, my only thinking on that is like not to offend them or name call them, but they are as dumb as we thought. Right. See, and that's what's mm. always perplexed me so much is like, how can these are not smart people? Yes, they're criminally smart, they're street people, whatever. But how are they going to fool everyone? The TBI, you know, I guess it's not that hard to fool Hawkins County from <laughs> what I'm gathering. And I don't mean to, I totally back the blue. I'm not saying nothing bad, but how are they fooling everyone? They're not that bright to get away with it, in my opinion. Yeah. They hear the yeah. Them but they have help. They have help. Started on Tim Mullen. No, no. I wouldn't well, trust. He's I wouldn't trust that guy as far as I could throw him. He's one of them. Okay. I know I'm a little old and I apologize. I, I didn't realize that your topic was about Hunter. Oh, that's okay. fine. Slowly. And I got on the, but there's a lot, there's a lot to this. Okay. Um, am I, can I continue? Sure. Okay. Um, after that vision, 
And I was like, I even talked to him, to my man about it. And he was like, just, just leave it, let it go. You know, you're too deep into this. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You know, I leave it alone, walk away from it. And so for almost four months, for four months, I tried just to push this out of my mind. And during this four months, the more time that went by, the more I would get these attacks, spiritual attacks, I don't know what you want to call them, but I would, one minute I would be fine, and the next minute I would be overcome with this feeling of dread. Like mm. I had this big, heavy, wet blanket wrapped around me to where I would, I, I would start crying, and it was always you're supposed to tell you're doing wrong mm. you're supposed to tell and i kept pushing it away i'm a, i'm my biggest critic okay nobody else has got to do it for me i do it for myself and i just kept trying to push it away push it away by the 20th of december of 2021 i got hit with this and it was so bad that it it practically bring me to my knees and i mean the tears were just rolling down my face and i had to make my way into my bedroom shut the door and i got on my knees and i started praying and i said god i know this is you and i'm sorry please forgive me for doubting you but you got to know how crazy this sounds. Nobody's mm. going to believe me. And who do I go to? Because I don't trust everyone in this scenario. And that's yeah. including law enforcement. Okay. I said, so if I'm not losing my mind, and this Norway thing is indeed true. Please send me a sign and I promise I will go I will go out there and I will tell anybody that will give me five minutes of their time. So the 31st of December of 2021, I'm sitting there. I knew nothing was going to be going on on computer. So I watched a couple of videos and I got into some people that I stayed away from for one reason or another. And I come across the creator that did a video and it was labeled something like Don pointing the finger at Dudley, accusing Dudley of taking summer, something like that. Phone call with, phone call with Don accusing Dudley. And I thought, okay, I'll watch this. So I clicked on it and they're talking and I fast forwarded it to where Don was on the phone. And I'm sitting there and I'm listening to him and I'm listening to him. And he's saying, Dudley did it. Dudley did it. He hates me. He's a meth head. All the people at work are meth heads. It's gotten so bad that my boss actually hired a man from also Norway. And I about fell out of my chair. Hmm. I don't believe in coincidences. And out of all the places in the world for Don to say, he says Norway. I said, okay. I asked for it. You gave it to me. Now I'll do what I got to do. So it took a couple of days. Put put everything to the side and try to think of what direction I wanted to go in. So then I started my researching. Okay. Okay. 
let's put the vision and all that to the side. I start doing my research and, and the things that I knew and the things that I started finding. I always suspected the church or persons in the church mm. for summer being gone. Now, at this point in time, I didn't know for sure whether Don was part of it or not. Or maybe even Candace, for that fact, okay? I'm thinking maybe, maybe somebody decided, you know, they could make money, they could remove a child from a bad situation, and who would believe the wells? Mm. They're drug addicts, drunks, poor, you know, nobody's going to believe that. So maybe they were taken advantage of. Maybe something was going on and Candace and Grandis decided to grow a set of balls and stand their ground and have the church put summer somewhere else without Don knowing until after the fact, what's Don going to do? Who's he going to go and complain to? If, in fact, he was the reason Summer was removed. He ain't going to tell nobody. Okay? Candace is trying to keep her family together. She's trying to keep her man. Trying to keep her boys. So, she very well could have done it. That way. That reason. Okay, but I did write down in jail and he wrote me back. And after I got my letter from him, I knew now. He knew. They all knew. They were all in on it. Okay, now the reason for that being done, that's another topic. Hmm. But, um... I got to digging around and I knew nothing about Norway. Okay. Other than it was cold <laughs> snow. I didn't even know there was a also, I think I'm pronouncing it properly. Oh, O S L O. I think it's spelled. I never even, awesome. even knew a place to put it. Yeah. Um, so Thank I got to sunshine. digging around and looking. And um, I, I focused in on the SDA churches up there. And I noticed, you know, I know all about the migration and the whole bit, okay? But there were awful lot of pictures of foreign children to where it made me, you know, what the hell's going on here? So, you know, I kept digging around and looking. Now, I had gotten on Smiley's channel, and she had a person come on there. Oh, everybody knows all about Norway and their issues and blah, blah. No, I did not know. Okay? I don't do TV can't hear i get tired of reading closed caption so i just don't do tv i never knew nothing about also um norway and their situation but anyway i got to digging around and something told me to punch in norway news didn't even know if it existed so i punched in norway news and about the third or fourth story down was of a woman who had put a her story out that April of 2022 talking her story of how she became an advocate for children who were stolen under bogus adoptions from all mm. over the world and shipped 
to also Norway. Okay. Um, her name is something like Pinkyata Samiti. I know I'm not saying it right, but it's something like that. Okay. And she talks about all the things that she found, the baby farms, children stolen off the street, stolen out of the hospitals from parents who were told that their baby died, blah, 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 blah. So all this, this story in her made me remember things that I had come across with the Wells and the SDA church. Okay. I remembered the SDA church and Pastor Ryder making a video, putting it out there, bragging about their international adoption program and how they just had uh, adopted a little boy and little girl, like two years old and four years old, for a family in their congregation. They even showed them. They were like from India or someplace. Okay. Um, you know, the, this, they have this wonderful adoption program. And look at these children that we adopted and blah, blah, blah. And then there's Robin Lane standing there talking about the Hope House and how they bring in all these underage girls or, or poverty-stricken young ladies who find themselves pregnant and they can't afford, you know, Medicare or anything like that. So they bring them to this Hope House. They give them housing, food, clothing, medical, and delivery free of charge. Well, nothing is free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Red bells are going off for me. And I'm like, something's not right here. So I got to digging around in under under these web pages for this hope house and this and I'm finding people complaining and one lady went to the hope house she had just had a baby her fifth child no baby daddies in the picture she needed help with like food baby items electric bill maybe I don't know and she said she spent the whole day there trying to get help for her and her children. And she wound up not getting any help because all they were interested in was her signing the paper to sign over her baby. That's all they wanted was her baby. Mark, mm. it's a business. Okay? Yeah. It's a business. SDA International Adoption is a business, and it doesn't matter where these churches are, they're all connected, okay? They all do business together. So, if the SDA in Tennessee is shipping children in from another country who are very questionable as being legit, adopted then they are shipping children out mm. as well and that very well could be yeah could and be. you can only do that and you can only do these things if you have inside help okay anybody mm -hmm. out there in the criminal world under underworld mind whatever the hell you want to call it okay no you need inside help and there's always inside help on different levels that brings me to georgia tan did you hear georgia tan just one second beverly you're right Cher did delve into this that's why i was listening closely mm-hmm you never heard of Georgia Tan, Mark? No. It happened in Tennessee. Okay. There was a woman named Georgia Tan. Her father was a lawyer. And 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 trust me, 
I swear to God, ain't nobody going to tell me differently. The internet fucking listens to you. Whether you're on or not, your TV, they listen to you because I will talk about something and all of a sudden that shit will pop right up. Yes, and I, don't I, believe that 100%. Yep. I don't even have to look for it. Right. It's just I come across this Georgia Tan thing and I'm like, what is this? It was a woman in, in Tennessee. Okay. She's born in 1930 something. Okay. She wanted to become a lawyer, but back then women were frowned upon in positions like that. So she wound up becoming the head person in the CPS situation. Okay. Adopt. She wound up opening up her own adoption uh, orphanage. And she had judges, lawyers, doctors, teachers, nurses, police officers, shady people on the street doing her dirty work for her for a payout. And they would go and snatch these children off the street and put them, she put them in her orphanage and she would sell them. Okay. Many of them died. There was a big thing about how she sent, I believe it was the twins, Joan Crawford, the actress Joan Crawford had gotten twin girls and it was supposedly through Georgia Tan. Okay. But they were all so proud of that. But anyway, somehow either the right person got in there and started looking into this shit, but she was stealing children and she was selling them and she had help from the top all the way down to make this mm. make this go through okay to make it a successful thing and i'm like they're doing it again they're doing it again could very well be now I know certain people in that church helped. Who's hanging around the wells? Who's always hung around the wells? Who has always done things for the wells? It's not Pastor Ryder. His ass is in the back. He won't come for it. He hides. It's Robin and David Dotson. And they mm. got too hot for David Dotson, speaking of. And he left. And Tim Millen's come in. The David Dotson piece. How do you make that fit? Bothered me a lot. Kept thinking on it, thinking on it. People shouldn't leave me alone too long. I'm dangerous. But um, I'm like, David Dotson, David Dotson. David comes in to the church in March of 2021 he's made a member the 6th of June and by the end of June he leaves now David Dotson isn't a young man okay he's got some years on him and he's too flighty with his religion. Hopping from religion, religion, religion. Okay? Grown men don't do that. They're usually already set in what religion they want. What religion they follow. But David Dotson's hopping. Doesn't make sense. Okay? I think what happened, how he fits in, David came from a Baptist church. I can't remember the name of it. Let's say someone from another Baptist church, not necessarily, let's say, sake of argument, also Norway, gets in touch with their church and they say, oh, we want to adopt a child. Well, we don't do 
adoptions here. Let's reach out to some of our, our brother churches, right? They get in touch with the church in Tennessee where David's at. We have a family that wants to adapt. Well, we don't do adoptions, but, but we know the SDA does international adoption. And David says, oh, I have a friend there, Robin Lane. Let me go talk to her. David goes to Robin. Robin says, oh, yeah, we can help. We know just the we know just the child. Hmm. So, these people come to Tennessee under David's church. Them and David show up at the SDA church as wanting to check it out, wanting to convert religion okay uh, so as not to draw attention to themselves why are these new people here at our church what do they want what are they doing okay so to make a good show of it David gets up there and says I'm becoming a member of the SDA in reality he's only there as a middleman to bring these people around the wells and to check out summer. And the wells are able to see these people and check them out and decide whether or not they are comfortable with turning summer over to them. Okay. Robin and David are the ones that handled this. The people say, yeah, we'll take her. And the well say, yeah, they seem all right, you know. We'll let them. We'll let them take off in Hawaii. I'm sorry. They said maybe a handoff in Hawaii because Robin went to Hawaii right after Summer went missing. Mm. Yeah, I could be off on little things, but I believe that's why he he was there in that church okay he was there for a reason you don't come there become a member and then walk out the door right after the child goes missing okay he did what he had to do and he was gone mm. things were heating up anyway he didn't want no parts of that shut all right then in walks you know superman timmy mullins he's going to control and that's the only reason he's there to control keep things steady anybody starts going out of the line pull them back in and head them in the other direction and that's all he's been doing okay um what was i going to say so anyway they do they do this okay they they um the people approve of slimmer the wells approve of the people. They decide, okay, this is what we're going to do. All right. Now go back, slap a minute and go back and think of the things that Don Wells has said along the way. Don Wells is a narcissist. Boy, a little bit of other stuff added in. I'm not a professional, but I do know narcissists because I got one of my own. So I know how they speak. I know what they how they do. Okay, I know the word games that they play with people. Go back and listen to the things that Don Wells has said all along. Look at their behavior or lack of. Okay. It's because they know their daughter's not dead. They know it. Don says... You ain't never going to find nothing. There's, there is no evidence. That was a truth out of Don's mouth. 
there isn't any evidence. And there isn't any evidence because it was a private adoption done, a.k.a. gray market adoption, which equals no paper trail, no lawyer, no judge, nothing. It's more of a shake of a hand, an agreement. You're going to give me this, I'm going to give you that. And it's done. There is no evidence. None. It's done all the time. Mm -hmm. Summer is far, far away. They ain't never going to find her. She's far, far away. That's another truth. She is far, far away. And he ain't sweating it because who's going to go look in Norway? Yeah. Children are shipped out of the country all the time. All the time. And the majority of them are never found because no Nobody will listen. Nobody will look. Okay? They keep right in here and they don't want to look or see or hear of anything else. This is it. Tennessee, Tennessee. She's not in Tennessee. As a matter of fact, I just wrote to the TBI and the FBI and I told them stop wasting your time and your resources looking for a dead child in Tennessee. Summer is not dead and she's not in Tennessee. Here's hoping. Yeah. So, okay, you're never gonna find her. There's no evidence. Summer's far, far away. I'll see her in the resurrection. Please let me clear this up for people. Like I said, I know how they do. Narcissists talk double-sided. Okay? And there's a lot of times where they will choose wording where you could take it this way or you can take it that way. And they know the majority of the people are going to take it this way. Okay. Which is what everybody did when he made that statement. I will see her in the resurrection. Oh my God. He's admitting she's dead. No, he wasn't. What he was telling you was the truth because the chances of him ever seeing her again in this life are slim to none. Yeah. She's not dead. Okay. He just ain't never going to see her because she's far, far away. All right. He's the one that brought up also Norway in his ramblings. So. I sat down in February of 2022. Yeah, 2022. And decided to write him when he went to jail. Now, I don't remember everything that I said to him. Um, but I told him about my, and I knew how he felt about psychics. I don't call myself a psychic. But I knew how he felt about what I was about to say and people that do that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And but I was very nice to him. Um, I laid it out for him. And I said, you know, um, I, I'm not sure at this point whether or not you are connected to what took place because you're supposed to be at work okay i asked him a couple questions i tried i tried not to ask him too many because narcissists do not like to be asked questions okay 
they will take you on a joy ride in a totally opposite direction and that's only to get you to forget what it was you were focused on they do it all the time it's a hard lesson to learn trust me <laughs> but once you get the hang of it you know okay and don does that all the time he will not answer you You'll ask him about the color of his dog and he'll start talking about the car that rode down the block two weeks ago. It was really nice, you know, had nice wheels on it, whatever. So the one thing I asked him was one, who is the man he put in his ramblings about also Norway? I said, you, you're the one to put him out there, Don. Who is he? You said he came to work for you. Who is he? What's his name? Where'd he come from? Did he walk off off the street? Or did the church hand him over to you? How long was he there? When did he leave? Did he leave before summer got gone or did he leave after summer got gone? I said, the one thing I can't figure out is why if you did something to your daughter why would you get on youtube and draw attention to yourself you wouldn't you would you would however get on youtube to convince someone of an abduction now, the say for sake of argument that Don, Candace, Grandis, whoever accidentally hit her and she hit her head on a rack and she died. Okay, and they got scared and wanted to hide the body. Or, you know, mm. somebody <clears throat> came up there and, and, and they had a. a they had a seance and they crucified her on the altar like Reverend Donna says. Okay. You wouldn't get on YouTube and Texted draw attention you. to yourself. You just wouldn't do it. Okay. If in fact an accident occurred on purpose or by accident, all you really had, to, all they really had to do was say, if somebody asked, where's Summer? Oh, she went to Wisconsin with Grandma. She's going to stay up here. Where's Summer? Oh, she went to Utah to live with Aunt Sonia. She's going to live there. No one would question that. No one would fucking care. We wouldn't know about Summer Wells, okay? They had to convince somebody. Ronnie Lawson most likely didn't know nothing about Summer Wells unless he went up on that hill himself answering calls for, you know, domestic abuse or whatever. So I doubt him, no somebody was going to come looking somebody was going to question and that would have been cps if he'd have said he went to and sent the child to live in another state all they had to do was pick up that phone and call up there and say you need to grab up his child we need her and he couldn't take that chance so an abduction story had to happen, okay? Nobody came up on that hill and took her. Go ahead. Yeah. Am I, am I aggravating you? No, I'm not aggravating, but we got to get back on topic here. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. But yeah, thank you for, uh, for your insights there and... That's some pretty interesting stuff about the SDA and adoption. I know Cher was really into that too. Mm 
So I got cookie butter. Oh, uh, I'll let you go. Treats over there. All right, well, thanks for coming I'm up, sorry. Ivy. I, I thought you were interested. I'm sorry I kept rambling on. Hi, no, we, we were. We were. Ivy. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> and she's gone. Just like that. Kaiser Soze. So, Cher, can I ask Cher a question? Yeah. Okay. Here. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi, hey, Rosie. So, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. So, what is the deal with the um, Robin getting all these teachings from Tim Mullen? It's when did it's, that happen and what is he's not even a part of their church, correct? No, he is. Oh, he is. I've been saying this from day one. He is a okay, part of that church. He's been denying that, right? Of course he's been denying that. Right. But yeah, he is. Okay, so he's the new preacher now or she's not Oh. Any more listening to the uh, I don't know. Preacher? I've been uh, focused kind of uh, doing, like, I've been doing a few other things, focusing my mind on uh, with that new case and everything, and still talking to Billy Joe and getting caught up into the Quentin Simons case stuff, and then, uh, yeah, so, and then watching all of this, so I don't know really much about that. It's just been a shit show. <laughs> just yeah. like this live. Yeah. <laughs> just like this live. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, oh, I took it as long as I could, and then I'm the bad guy. We, no, you're not. You're not can't, the bad guy. I don't, I don't can't know why win. she said that. You patiently waited for her to finish talking. she rude to you? No, it's just she got, like, she was upset that I stopped her. But, I mean, I couldn't. Like, the whole chat was just like, next, next, get her off, like. We get it. Like, she was taken to Norway, and it's <laughs> S SDA adoption. That took me five seconds. Right. I literally forgot what... Oh, it was about Hunter. Oh. This whole thing was about Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that one person. Hey, that's Dragon Spider. Yeah, and they, they, it's like they know that I'm too nice Yeah. to be a dick that. and say, no, oh, no, 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 we're not going to talk about that tonight. Oh my gosh, remember the one lady that got all crazy and was saying all kinds of crazy stuff? That one time and was up here for like an hour. It was on Mark's live too. You I don't what just now? now. <laughs> no, no, not right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> It was a while ago. It was like a year ago or something and she was doing all this crazy stuff, but <clears> she <throat> happened to bombard you on your live as well and and just keep going and going on some crazy stuff. I'm You're just too sweet, yeah. you? Normally I'm fine. Like I kind of like the, the crazy stuff. And when people are passionate about something, I like to hear it. Like I just like to listen to people talk. But yeah, it was getting to be a little a little bit too much. I mean, I gave her like an hour. <laughs> Queen Widow. Yeah, Mark was in a trance. <laughs> what a trooper, right? I mean, <laughs> this is why I married him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so anybody who came in late i mean go to the beginning it's i'm talking about hunter but basically the long and the short of it was hunter said that andy texted candace that line that it's done but i showed how the way hunter found that in her phone isn't right he couldn't have found it in her phone the way he described it so he either completely made it up or he was told. And I I honestly think he was told. I just can't figure out why. The, the oh, thank you, Music City oh, Mom. And thank you, Angie Erickson, if you're still here. Sonia Stanger's been a member for 20 months. Sunshine Daydream. And Music City Mom, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Kim Brown, where's Hunter now? Honestly, I don't know. He, he looks good now, some, though. Yeah, he does. He's lost some weight. Well, yeah, and he's matured. His face has matured a lot in the last few years. It's almost been three years. Yeah, yeah, it's been... A, God, I can't believe it's been that long, but yeah. Yeah, and that's a huge growing point between... What was he, 14, 13, 14? 
What'd Cher say? I'm not too sure. Oh. Real Annie B, don't know why I would have sent that or worded it like that. Exactly. I don't think you did. I don't think Hunter saw that deleted text in Candace's phone. I don't. It doesn't make sense how he found it. So that right there is enough for me to say it didn't happen. And I obviously don't think you were the one that Don chased off the property and you ended up being the one who took Summer. I don't think that. <laughs> Yeah, to be on to be, yeah, he was listening. But yeah. if you're, Andy, if you're listening to the, to the earlier before the psychic lady came on, we were talking about how Hunter had said that text thing and uh, the, the guy that was on the property was the same Andy that texted Candace. And so it looked like whoever gave Hunter that, information like tell people that you saw this text tell people that candace told you that don had to kick someone off the property so it's candace don and you that people are trying to nail or whoever it was in this plan and honestly the first name that popped in my head was jody sue like, who, who actually dislikes all three of you? And that's the first one that popped in my head. I could be way off. Like, I'm not saying I'm on anything. I'm just saying that when I heard Hunter speaking in this recent live with his dad, everything just kind of, like, lined up for me and smacked me in the face. But, yeah. So that's what this whole live started off about. And then we got on to SDA and international adoption, which honestly, I hope that's what happened. That would mean Summer is alive. Exactly. I mean, that would be the best possible outcome, really. Like a gone baby gone situation. If you haven't seen that movie, oh, you should. It's good. But something like that. All right, Mark, I'm going to hop down. Thank you so much for letting me up. I appreciate it. Yeah, maybe next okay. time I come up, I do a live, and you can come up, and we can actually talk a little bit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I will do it. All righty. All right. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rosie. All right, bye-bye. They don't know other than make you look bad. That's what it that's what it comes down to me. Because Hunter says these things. He says that he got this deleted text. He found this deleted text in Candace's phone. So that paints Andy, which Andy who lives in the area, Andy who sells marijuana. I mean, that's obviously the real Andy. Andy B. So, I mean, it's like a slap at you and the fact that he said that when they were out, Candace got that phone call from Don saying he had to kick someone off the property and the fact that neither Candace nor Don went with that narrative that someone was on the property earlier that day, that's a slap at them. So... And I don't think Hunter came up with this on his own. It may have. He may have, but I really doubt it. I think he was told by somebody to say these things. I just can't figure out who. Like, does anyone in the chat know if Aunt, if uh, Jody Sue and Allie were very close? Because that, that's a link that I could kind of put together. Because Hunter would listen to Allie. Mm -hmm. The text said it's done, Souls. Which doesn't really... I mean, it's smart enough to, to make up to say that it could have something to do with Summer or it could just be something random. 
but the fact that they went out of this way to say this story about how it was in it was a deleted text but it was still in her phone and I knew how to find it and stuff but the way he described finding it is wrong so it's like someone told him to say this stuff so yeah I'm stuck on that and I'm gonna be I'm kicking myself that I couldn't find that part in uh, the labs live where he goes over this uh, conversation between Hunter and his father where Hunter actually said that the Andy who sent the text is the same Andy that Don kicked off the property. I really wanted you guys to, to hear that. It is on there. I, my hand to God. I just couldn't find it. So... I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the link to that live in the chat here. Copy. And you guys can go and watch that. It's a good like there's lots of stuff in there. Like Hunter brings up that uh, they not only stopped at Sonic now, they also stopped at Burger King and that they were in the grocery store for like an hour and a half. Like he Things have changed, and I think that's just because he has been told what to say, and now, a couple of years later, he's forgotten all the details. So when he's saying this stuff, he might be saying what he actually remembers as opposed to what he was told to say. But either way, I, if I was a betting man, I would bet money someone told hunter to say that he found that deleted text and someone told hunter to say that candace told him that don kicked someone off the property that's the long and the short of what this live was and uh yeah we went a little bit longer than i was thinking i actually i gotta get going and have a shower and get to bed for work tomorrow but uh yeah i'm just gonna run through the chat real quick see uh, first, Jody Sue was crazy saying Andy wouldn't be involved in anything to do with Summer. Now saying Andy didn't tell law enforcement the, the truth. Yeah, well, she's gone back and forth. I mean, she said some nice things and then some not so nice things. I love you. Why would he be looking at anything suspicious on Candace's phone at that moment when H was looking in her phone? Summer hadn't allegedly gone missing. No, that uh, that's actually be. Summer had gone missing. This was he was apparently suspicious because Candace had called him and asked him what he said to law enforcement. This was after Summer went missing. Apparently. But yeah. Like I said, that's I even made a video about that deleted text thing like the way he described he found the deleted text I'll just run through that again real quick he said in her Google Photos the gallery that's where he found the deleted text because that's the trash no there is a trash bin in there but that's only like if you delete a picture it'll go in that trash bin but if you go to your messages and delete a text, it doesn't go in that trash bin. There's another trash bin for your text messages. It would go there. So he didn't describe finding that deleted text correctly, which tells me he either completely made it up, which for what reason would he do that? I have no idea. Or he was told to say it and things got bungled up. I'm I'm going with he was told to say it. And if he was told to say it, then that's that's slapping three people. That's slapping Andy, slapping Don, slapping Candace. Now I'm gonna be having to go through everything all over again. 
And my only question is going to be who told that to Hunter and why? That's where I'm heading now. If you guys got another theory that you're following, good for you. I, I hope one of us figures this shit out and finds Summer, but that's where I'm going. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Big thanks to the, those of you who hung in while we went off topic there talking about the SDA and adoption and all that. It is an interesting avenue, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, that's where I'm at. And, oh, John CQ perhaps kind of said that to Hunter regarding the guy on the property to begin the abduction story before she got home. I actually did suggest that. But it, it's possible, but then she must have just abandoned it because she had never said anything about that afterwards. I've never heard Candace say that Dawn kicked someone off the property. I've never heard her say that that's what Dawn told her when he called her. Maybe she did. I don't know, but I've never, like, the only one who said that as far as I know is Hunter. So again, it's like somebody told Hunter to say certain things. I just don't know who or why. If I had to guess who, I'd say Allie. And if I had to guess why, I'd say somehow Jody Sue, but I don't know. That's me just winging it, but I mean, it would take some doing to for someone to convince me that someone didn't tell Hunter to say those things. But, yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging. I love you. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one, which hopefully won't be so far away. I know I haven't been on here much. I've just been crazy busy with life and family, but I will be trying to get back on here more. So, all right, take care, guys. Love you. And we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, this is True Crime Productions with Prairie Boy 77, aka Prairie Boy 77, aka Mr. Share, aka the Beard of Reason, aka the Voice of Reason, saying good day, good night, and Godspeed. Love you.